welcome to another episode of Hollywood Spotlight. I'm your host Maria DeSoto and this week I'm considering like the unofficial every movie is going to be a sequel or a remake. So let's get into it and we're going to start off with our number one movie. Ralph Breaks the Internet which seems more like Ralph has broken the box office. Wreck-It Ralph the original was one of my favorite movies and I'm not surprised that this movie is done so well because the first movie was all about, you know, doing cliches about video games and stuff like that. So it's no surprise that if you make fun of internet and memes, it's basically gonna be a surefire hit. And I expect this is gonna be on the top five for a bit now, but I'm very excited for this film. Matt, stop socializing. Now, let's go in for a look. Dr. Seuss's The Grinch. No surprise that this movie has done as well as it has. It has already grossed over $200 million at the box office. Did we need another Grinch movie? Probably not, but I guess we are loving it and I guess we're just gonna have to do with three Grinch movies during the Christmas season. But hey, what's another Christmas movie added to the list, right? Creed 2. It had a great strong opening weekend um, in Thanksgiving. Needless to say, this movie, it was great and it was an exciting continuation to the first one. I really like this film and I hope it can continue on for the next week and it can build up its traction again. I know it's really tough competition at the box office right now, but Creed 2 is a really great film. Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grimwald. Now this movie has been soaring in the reviews department but it just can't get enough traction to get up higher. It had a strong opening back when it came out. It's an exciting sequel to the first Fantastic Beasts, not to mention if you're a true Harry Potter fan, you'll love the fact that there's a ton of backstory to all your favorite Harry Potter um, characters. It's a great film to watch, Bohemian Rhapsody. Now it is no surprise to anyone that this movie has held on for as long as it has. This movie is amazing, not to mention it has a great cast and it's been, it just got nominated for two Golden Globes, one to Randy Malik and two, for Best Picture as well. And it's already grossed over $500 million worldwide. This is a surefire hit. Make sure to check it out while it's still at the top five, but it's probably gonna be in the box office for quite a bit more. Have fun this week and always remember, check out the movies.